Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I just had uh, a conversation with a brother and he was uh, referencing that the, you know, that the coronavirus was not as bad as people are saying, that the numbers are inflated, that, you know, pharmaceutical companies are set to make a lot of money uh, off of the vaccine. And I truly understand all of that. I do. I understand it. Um, from a sociological perspective, I totally understand pharmaceutical companies and the government and, and all of that. I do I understand that. But a law tells us there's a there's an authentic hadith where a man came to Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and said to him, should I tie my camel or should I leave my camel untethered or untied and trust in Allah, meaning leave it untied and when he comes back trust that the camel will still be there and not have run off or or been taken or anything and his reply was to tie your camel and have trust in Allah so it's a combination and then in the Quran we're told that if you do not know you ask the people of knowledge right so my point to that is there are many variables, unknown variables to this Corona thing, right? We don't know how much the numbers are inflated. We don't know how dangerous the virus is or is not. The best thing for us to do is to listen to the experts and to protect yourself by way of you're, you know, wearing your gloves or wearing your mask if you choose to wear a mask and follow the the instructions of the people who are professionals uh, in this field. The worst that can happen is you protect yourself from possibly catching it. You protect yourself. You tie your camel by way of protecting yourself and you have trust in Allah that you'll be safe. But to have the attitude that, oh, this is just a hoax, this is inflated, this isn't real, it's not as bad, and you go on about your day, what's the worst that can happen? But you catch the virus. Now, even if the virus doesn't kill you, suppose it makes you miserable for a month. Was it worth it? It's better to protect yourself. We have to use some level of common sense. And then we follow the instructions of our scholars. We follow the precedent set by our Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. We tie our camel and we trust in Allah. It's a combination. It's not a binary choice. It's not black or white, one or the other. You do both. You protect yourself and you trust in Allah. So... I just wanted to drop that so that we, uh, you know, we understand that although it may be the numbers may be kind of fishy or what we're being told about it may be kind of fishy, that doesn't mean that we just blow it off and jeopardize our health, the health of our family, you know, the health of uh, other people in the public. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.